Okay, so on as far as uh, setting up the Chronos in on the season 15 32 bit community pack pro pack, what you're going to do is you're going to press the menu button and you're going to press the left trigger. Right now, I'm going to show you what's what. This button here is the menu button right there. And this under here is the left trigger. You want to mash them both at the same time. So give me a second while I do that, and then I'll show you what's going on in the chronos design. Now, when the chronos design, this menu is going to come up. That's the menu right there. That's going to pop up. And from here, I'm going to push A. A is going to come up. That's the character name. That's the first thing to come up. Now, from here, what you want to do is you want to go and use your D-pad. The D-pad is this right here. Your D-pad. And you want to move it. Your D-pad, you want to click it to the right. As you click your D-pad to the right, it's going to change, and you can select the character that you want to select. Alright, so that's the first thing. Next thing is on your controller, you want to hit your top right button. When you hit your top right button, what's going to happen is nothing, because that was wrong. Okay. Oh, my bad. So don't hit the top right button. You want to hit the down button on your D-pad. So you hit the down button on your D-pad, and it'll be the next set. And you choose whether you want to mess with your button layout. Mine is on default. It stays. Going down, still going down on the D-pad. And down, and down, and down. And these are the different parts. That's the in-game hip fire. Your sensitivity for your hip fire. Mine is on one because I like a high sensitivity. I apologize for the camera. That just made it worse. Give me one second here. Okay. So that's the sensitivity. Change the sensitivity and put it on what you need it to be on. That's my ADS sensitivity is on five. My ALC uh, setting, I'm, I'm using ALCs. But if I wasn't, you move the D-pad to the left or the right. When you move it to the left, it's going to say classic. If you want classic, you put it on classic and you keep going from there. I'm on ALC, so I just put it back. D-pad down. In-game vibration. You could disable it or you can enable it and turn the rumble off. Anti-recoil. It's enabled. You push A plus plus uh, the D-pad across to adjust your anti-recoil. Dynamic rumble. That's what my anti-recoil is set to. I'm actually going to change that. So, I'm pushing my D-pad to the left. Off hip fire. Off hit plus hip fire. On hit plus hip fire, off hit, on hit. I usually leave mine on dynamic. Rapid fire, that's what you want. Secondary is on rapid fire also. This is profile two. So if you got more than one profile, you can set it up for however you want that to fire. I'm gonna just go through these profiles because it's like five of them. I'm on profile one. My switch method for my for my guns is manual. You can also have it on automatic. Aim assist is on bats. The reason why my aim assist is on bats is because, from what I understand, bats, as soon as you press your, uh, your, your ADS button, as soon as you press your left trigger, it starts to, uh, the, the anti-recoil is, is enabled. And the uh, aim assist is enabled at the same time. 
And that was my understanding on that. Is you don't have to just go with bats. You got Taylor V6. You got legit. Remember, and, and the thing when I say legit is a decent programmer. If you look at the other video, so you got legit, and these are different aim assists. You got bats primary, Taylor, Taylor V6 secondary. And you can switch it around. Taylor primary, bat secondary. Bats low pressure, Taylor high pressure. I think that was the one I used to use. And I'm going to keep it on there. But I'm just showing you that you could just switch it around. You can switch it around on there too. Or you can turn it all the way off. I'm going back. I'm going to leave it on that one. Because I know I had it on that one. This is your aim assist. How do you want your aim assist? You have polar, you have linear, and you got mixed. My advice would be mix. A little bit of both. Because why not? You can't go wrong if you got a little bit of both. Alright, so this is my aim assist. This this tells you the pattern that you want your aim assist to run in. Mine is on circular. So when you got it on circular, your aim assist is making a circular motion. But they have different, this is tall, they have different uh, motions for the aim assist. This is wide, where it is shoot uh, wide. This is vortex, where it's shooting like a vortex. Spiral, helix, kit. Kit is real good. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm going to tell you all my, my personal preferences. Kit is real good. Um, vertical flare, that's not one of my. Tartan Army. Tartan Array. Yeah, tartan Array. That's another real good one. That's a good one. So Kit, Tartan Array. I don't fuck with Jupiter like that, but it's okay. The Bishop. I call it the Bishop because when I run Bishop, this is probably hands down the best uh aim assist pattern. Because you know you get uh you run up against some some people and they're doing the, the, the spam spam the crouch and, and, and uh spam the crouch and spam the jump. The bishop takes care of that. The bishop's going to knock the head off no matter what they do. All right, so I'm going to leave that on the bishop. These are your ADS mods. So this will dictate what happens when you aim down sights. So let's go through these. You got your jump. So when you push your aim down sights, it'll jump. You got your crouch. When you push down aim down sights, it's going to crouch. You got your strafe. When you push aim down sights, it's going to strafe. You got your mixed circular. This is basically uh, making it, it, it makes a circle. So it'll go forward and side to side and back in a circle, circular motion when you aim down sights. And when I say it, I'm talking about your character will move in these directions. You got tall, right only. You got strafe ADS both sides. So on this one, what will happen is your character will be strafing side to side while you're, while you're aiming down sights automatically. You got the fast nade, fast grenade. You got ping on ADS, repeat. So when you ADS, it's going to repeatedly ping on the enemy, if it's the enemy nearby or whatever. You got ping on ADS once. You got top G. Top G is a macro where when you press aim down sights, you're going to be crouching, strafing. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a jump in there or not, but uh, it, it's basically, it's a macro and all you do is, is when you aim down sights, it's your uh, character is going to start moving and, and doing movement. I use Top G. That's what I was using in the one video when I was. Uh, the video is called uh, Corners Zen on Steroids," and it's it's in my uh, it's in my videos. But yeah, Top G. That's the uh, 
that's the ADS mod that I was using. And I'm not going to put anything on my ADS mod right now. Alright, moving right along. Fire mod. When you fire. So you got jump fire. Crouch fire. Straight fire. Straight fire left only. Straight fire right only. Straight fire both left and right. Fast nade. <laughs> when you push the uh, button to, to shoot, you can throw a grenade at the same same damn time. Ping on fire repeatedly. Ping on fire once. Top G. So instead of you having top G on your ADS, you could put it on your fire mode. So you could uh, aim down sights. And then when you go to press fire, that's when the movement will start for the top G. Like I said, it's like a macro. And it's ridiculous. You gotta you gotta play it you gotta play it and get it play around with it in the fire range and see if you can get the hang of it or not before you just go jumping out there acting crazy. That's my advice anyway. You got the armory, so what what weapons is different weapons that you uh that's in your armory. Shotguns, pistols, generic, assault rifle. It's probably best to leave it on generic, but mine is on assault rifles. Shortcuts. You could uh you can make shortcuts uh for uh like uh if you want a shortcut to something. Quick scope, mine is on fire. Cause sometimes I I don't have time to ADS. So as soon as I push my trigger button on when I go to fire. Even if I don't ADS, the scope is going to come up and it's, it's, it's going to ADS automatically from my fire button. You've got auto reload. I got that enabled. I told y'all already. That's one of the drawbacks of the Armor X Pro and uh, the other scripts. I like the auto reload. You got holster run. Every time you your, your character runs, he'll holster the weapon. But it's up to you to pull it back out. I got holster run plus. I keep that disabled because I know that, that I have to holster my weapon. You got B hop, bunny hopping. If if you want to do the bunny hopping, you can enable bunny hopping, and it'll bunny hop for you. Uh, advanced optics. I got that disabled. I don't need an enable because I didn't get that far into it to go through all these things. You could adjust, make adjustments for your barrels and your optics and all the way down the line. You got your shortcut keys. I don't use them. But if you're on mouse and keyboard, your shortcut keys are going to come in handy. And last but not least, we're almost to it. Go past these shortcut keys. And here we go. Super glide. Mine is enabled. You want to have super glide because you want that fluid movement. When you uh, when you mantle on the side of something, you want to be able to just bounce right up and slide right over it. That go for walls, uh, small small uh, fences or whatever. You when you mantle it, you can glide right off of it. All you gotta do is mash that button. You're gonna glide right off of it. Wall bounce. That's what everybody's looking for and everybody's looking to do in a fight. You're trying to trying to do wall bounces. This this helps you out. This helps you in the process. You're going to be able to get that wall bounce off. Super jump. Everybody's looking to super jump. If you got a zip line, you don't want to be there all day. You want to be able to uh, do the super jump off the zip line and get to where you're trying to get to, whether it's cover or get to the fight. Auto armor. I disabled this because I have zero idea what this does and I've searched high and low and I couldn't find out exactly how this works so I leave it disabled turbo button and this is this is where things get tricky turbo button one time turbo button one time is okay it's it just adds a little little turbo to whatever button you assign it to. My turbo button is assigned to my trigger, my right trigger. 
Now, this is where things get scary and crazy. In that video where I have uh, Krona Zen on steroids, same video that I'm talking about. If you turn this turbo button and you push your D-pad to the right, and it says two times on that turbo button, you have to understand that when you pull the trigger to fire your weapon, your weapon will keep firing even after it reloads it'll keep firing and keep firing and keep firing until you press that trigger button again to stop to stop it from firing so this is this is the turbo button on two times two times turbo means it's going to fire until you run out of ammo and it's going to re you're going to reload and it's going to keep firing until you push the fire button again which means if you shoot at somebody and the weapon starts firing, that person goes down. Your gun is still going to be firing until you press that fire button again to stop your weapon from firing. And believe me when I tell you, that is crazy. So if you, if you feel like, hey, you want to try something crazy and you just want to go nuts in the firing range or you want to go nuts in the game, Get you an L-Star, get a whole lot of energy ammo, and go nuts. Because that's what that's going to be about right there. That turbo two times. It's not going to stop firing until you push the fire button to stop it. So you push the fire button, and, and you're shooting at somebody, and you start firing. That's all well and dandy, but it's not going to stop firing. It doesn't matter if you switch guns or what you do. It's not going to stop firing until you push that fire button again to stop 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 it from firing and that's it there's no more nothing else to go through that's just the button that you uh, had a turbo button uh, assigned to my turbo button is assigned to like I said the right trigger and it's on and to come out of all that and to save everything you just hit B and it's saved and there you go. You'll be right back on the screen right here. And on the screen it tells you, in order to see that menu again, left trigger plus menu at the same time. And you can go in there and adjust whatever it is that you want to adjust in there the ways that I showed you. 